No time for the throw in as the full time whistle goes here. Frustration for the home supporters, but nothing to separate the sides. The first leg a draw in Madrid, just as it was in last season's semi finals. We all know what happened next. Real Madrid, San Carlo Ancelotti will hope for a very different outcome in just over a week's time. City will seek to repeat the feat and win the tie on home soil. It is a tie in the balance, though, and one still with so many possibilities, even after Steve. What was an outstanding game of football that toed and throwed tonight? Yeah, outstanding game of football. Some outstanding goals and from two quality teams. Well, as I said before, it's a pity that one of them are going to have to go out in six days' time. A lot to like about that tonight. We look forward to the second leg in Manchester. Full time here, Real Madrid 3. Manchester City 3. Adam Thumberton and Steve McManaman, thank you very much indeed. Well, these are two sides who have met four times in the last five seasons in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. They are two giants of European football. Real Madrid, the 14-time champions against the current holders. We expected an entertaining match. We certainly got that. You really couldn't take your eyes off it for a second. I've got Julian Lescott and Michael Owen alongside me. Julian, how much did you enjoy that? Oh, exciting. We expected goals, quality. We've seen all that and just chaos at times as well, <laughs> which is probably what you don't associate with City games. Um, Real Madrid obviously going behind so early on and then took control of the game and just excitement throughout. Yeah, the level, the standard of finishing was exquisite, wasn't it? Six goals, game beautifully poised for for uh, for the game that the Etihad. And I think City will be happy. You see them going over to their fans now, clapping their fans. I think they'll be the happier of the two teams. They will remember fondly what happened 12 months ago when they really took, you know, uh, this Real Madrid team to school. They battered them at the Etihad and they'll be thinking that could happen again. So I think uh, City are the happier team, but what a game for the neutral. What a game for the neutral, as you say, absolutely finely poised for the next one. Are you surprised, Julian, at how many twists and turns there were in this one? How much the, the favour went from one side to the other? Yeah, momentum was changing at any stage of the game, um, continuously, and like I said then, I think Man City will be pleased with the result. Going to the Bernabeu and not losing is a, is a positive result, but the performance, I think when they analyse it, they'll be disappointed they didn't have more control throughout. Um, again, I think that's the, the type of game Real Madrid wanted to create um, transitions. They've got a lot of pace when, when uh, mounting a counter-attack, and, and they showed that at times tonight, but overall, they're probably disappointed with the result, knowing that that wasn't the strongest Man City's team. And, they're going to face a, a more stronger team next week. Yeah, no one was ever in control of the game, were mm. they? It was like City scored early, then bang, bang, you know, their opponents, Madrid scored, and then bang, bang, City go ahead. It, it was almost like nobody had total control at any point, which made you always on the edge of your seat. And, uh, and as Jolien says, Pep Guardiola won't like that type of game. He likes a controlled game. And I'd be expecting for more of that in the uh, game at the Etihad. Yeah, absolutely. We can see Phil Foden there. He looked like he went off with a bit of an injury, but what a contribution he made in what is, you know, quite simply the season of his life, Julian. Yeah, definitely. We've seen a little slight change in his position, his role in the second half. He went and played in the centre of the pitch, and I think that's where I think everyone believes. And he showed it, it himself tonight and throughout the season. That's his best position. That's where he impacts the game. And he, and he received the ball just before his goal and, and turned and just ran out the defence and, and causes chaos, causes uncertainty. But then when he got the ball, he, and he had one thing in his mind and that was to put it in the top corner. Yeah, he was. that was the pick of the goals, wasn't it? His was the goal of the game. What a player, what a finish. Didn't have loads to do in the game. I'd expect him to be a little bit more involved, but that was just a moment of magic. It really was, wasn't it? And the winner of the second leg of this tie, and however this one goes, will face the winner